assalamu alaikum welcome back uh, we have started with the uh, analysis of uh, sequential circuits so before this lecture we have covered how to analyze a given sequential circuit using a d flip flop now we will be considering the another type of flip flop which is the jk flip flop so before this uh, in a d type of flip flop we have seen that the flip flop input equation is the same as the state equation of the system because the data available at d input is actually transferred to the output a and that is why when we are using the d type of flip flops the input equation and the state equation are both same but in the case of jk flip flop the input equations cannot be same as the output equations because now the output a or the output b depends on the values of j and k okay so based on the certain combination of j and k uh, as we know there are two inputs so there are four combinations possible and then we have four types of outputs possible okay so uh, in this case we have an example given for a jk flip flop Uh, used in the sequential logic circuit so how to analyze these type of circuits we have basically two methods one is analyze using characteristic table and another is analyze using characteristic equation so in this lecture i will be focusing on the uh, analyzation using characteristic table after that in the next lecture we will be also covering how to analyze the given circuit you uh, with jk flip flops using the characteristic equations so basically there are three steps uh, when we start with the analyzation uh, using the characteristic table the first step is to determine the flip flops input equations considering the present state and input variables so i will be uh, explaining uh, step by step so let me consider the first step then i will be coming back to the other two steps so let me write the flip flop input equations uh, for this example okay so here you can see that you have basically two uh, flip flops and there will be four inputs such as we can write the input equation for this is j a then it would be k a this will be j b and this would be the k b okay so for j a let me write it the um, input equation for this flip flop is j a is equal to it is equal to what are the inputs to this one these uh, we have uh, input b okay we have input b so j a is equal to b okay then we have uh, k a k a in this case is equal to we have input x uh, bar we have input x bar and then it is multiplied with input b okay so here we get the b x bar okay uh, then for another flip flop the j b will be equal to here we have the x bar input so jb is simply equal to x bar and kb is equal to we have input a to, uh, to the xor gate then we have x to the xor gate and then we can get that kb is equal to uh, a x bar plus a bar x so these are the input equations of this given sequential circuit using jk flip flops now let's coming towards the next step the second step is listing the binary values of each input equation so we have these input equations 
for uh, listing the binary values we need to look for the present state and the present inputs. So, coming towards the state table we have we need to define these values given the uh, values of a, b and x we need to define j, a, k, a, j, b and k b. Okay. So, let me consider uh, the first case. So, I will be just solving case number 1 and then it will be pretty much easy to solve for all the cases. Okay. We know that in case 1 a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. Okay. So, I am considering this case a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. So, in this case we know that uh, j a is simply equal to b which is equal to 0. So, I will put j a is equal to 0. Similarly, uh, we, you can look to the another input equation which is equal to k a is equal to b x bar. So, uh, let me write k a is equal to b x bar. So, b is 0 and to x bar uh, will be equal to uh, it is dot 1. So, it is equal to 0. Okay, This is the Boolean multiplication. So, it is equal to 0. So, the value of k a will be 0. Then for uh, j b, we have the input equation which is equal to x bar x bar. So, 0 bar uh, l will be equal to 1. So, the value of j b will be equal to 1. Okay. Then for k b, it is equal to a x bar plus a bar x. So, a is equal to 0 and to x bar multiplied with uh, dot 1. There is a Boolean multiplication plus uh, a is 0 here it is uh, a bar is equal to 1 and multiplied with the 0. Okay. So, uh, finally, we will get a 0 for the value of k b. So, we will get k b is equal to 0. Okay. <coughs> so, let me write it more neatly. It will look like this one. Okay. Similarly, if you can take the value of second case a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 and put all these values in the input equations that I have derived earlier which are given here. So, the uh, corresponding uh, input equation values would be uh, 0, j a is equal to 0, k a is equal to 0, j b is equal to 0 and k b would be 1. Uh, if you find the values for all the cases, so we will have this table. Okay. So, now we are done with the step number 2. Step number 3, determine the next state values for the corresponding flip flop. For this, we need to look into the characteristic table of the flip flop. So, we know that the flip flop has two inputs j and k. So, it has four combinations possible and for each combination it has a definite output. So, looking towards the values of j a and k a we know that if j a and k a are 0 0 the output would remain same. Okay. So, there would be no change in the condition. So, no previous state is 0 0. So, the output would be a would be 0 because a is the corresponding output to the flip flop j a and k a. Then the we know that the j b and k b is 1 and 0. So, if j b is 1 it means that uh, it would be the um, the flip flop now will be in the set condition. Okay. So, we can write this j b is equal to 1. Okay. Let me write it in more clear way. Now, we can see the values of next state is a function of j and k for the given flip flops. Okay. Similarly, the next state output of the second combination would be equal to this combination 0 and 0 for the given values j and k a is equal to 0 and j b and k b is equal to 0. Similarly, for the third case it will be equal to this value 
finally, writing uh, the next states for all the combinations, we will get the state table like this one. Okay. So, finally, we have derived the uh, state table for this uh, given sequential circuit using J k flip flops. The methodology that we have used uh, is the using characteristic table, where there was three basic steps to determine the flip flop input equations, then writing the binary values for each input equation, this one that we have already discussed. And finally, in the third step determine the next state values for the corresponding flip flop that we have already discussed here in this case. Okay. So, if you have any confusions or uh, any questions, you can ask me here in the comment sections. Thank you so much.